And that's going to make the team score 14 to 13 with Seabolt Wrestling Academy in the lead. Alrighty, coming in this next match for Seabolt Wrestling Academy, we've got Jacob Frost, and for Minion Legends, we've got Sammy Shires. And if you'll give us one second, it looks like we're gonna quickly, uh, sorry, it looks like we're gonna quickly change the refs around real quick before we get this match started. Now that that's out of the way, we're gonna get it started. Once again, Jacob Frost for Seabolt Wrestling Academy and Sammy Shires for the Minion Legends. As we get this bout underway. A little bit of hand fighting here to help open it up. Nice fake there from Shires as he goes. Going to that two on one now is Shires. Trying to get that. Trying to get some stuff opened up. Frost doing a good job at maintaining his composure and defense. As I say that, Shires gets in on a nice knee pull. Got to bring that up to his feet if he wants to finish it, and he does. Step out of that leg. Going to try and finish it with a dub, and he does, but no points are going to be awarded. Jacob Frost able to get out, but Sammy Shires is going to get one for a push out there as they come back to the center here. Reaching for that leg right there with Shires, but wasn't able to get it. Frost with the reattack, but wasn't able to get a firm hold on that leg. Back up to their feet. Shires looking hard to grab for that right arm. As he does that, he goes sweep attempt. Frost able to get his leg back. Now Shires has got that. Shires has got double underhooks here. Looks like Shires is going to get another step out point here. As we come back to the center here, we're going to start 2 0 lead for Sammy Shires of Minion Legends. Minute and a half left to go in this first period. Another knee pull attempt from Sammy Shires. Isn't able to get that leg locked up tight enough. Frost coming back up to a front headlock. Shires doing a good job of trying to control that wrist. Shot attempt from Frost, not able to get it, and they're back up to their feet. Shires has a uh, good right side underhook. Frost was able to clear out of it. Looks like we're going for wrist control now. Nice little snap from Frost as he gets the takedown, making it two all with Frost having criteria over here. Once again, we got 45 seconds left to go in this period. Frost working for a turn, but it looks like it's gonna get called back up to the feet. Well, fake attempt there from Shires. Good motion from both competitors here. Another shot attempt from Shires, a little go behind for Frost. Shires trying to scramble his way out of this one, but no score is awarded just yet. Looks like he's trying to get that crotch lock it in. And it's gonna, two, two points are gonna be awarded for Jacob Frost. As these final seconds tick down in the first period of this match. Alrighty, and we're back. Second period getting underway. Once again, it's a 4-2 lead for Jacob Frost. Even if Shires does get a takedown though, he's gonna need another score on top of that since Frost has criteria. I say that, and it looks like Shires tried to get the leg, ends up with a body lock situation. Looks like he's trying to go big for four. 
Now he's trying to go Splatel here, try to get the two here. Frost doing a good job of keeping his feet up, but as I say that, he's gonna get a four point move on the mat. Gonna give him a 6-4 lead coming into the second half. Coming back to the center right here. Shire's now in the lead with a 6-4 on the points. See if he'll keep attacking right here. As I say that, he gets to a knee pull. He's gotta bring it up to his feet again if he wants to finish. Frost doing a good job with his defense, trying to go spin behind. Doesn't get it just yet, but looks like he's about to as he gets an exposure. So it's gonna be six all. Frost in the lead, now he's got a trap arm. Shire's not giving any ground though, and he's gonna get a reversal here, making it an 8-7 lead for Jacob Frost. Now he's gonna attempt to try and go a gut here. Looks like he's gonna try and go trap on, but before that can happen, they're gonna be called back to their feet. Another knee pull attempt for there for Sammy Shires, but isn't able to get it. Now he goes front head. Frost now in with his own knee pull attempt. Shires tried to go front head there, but wasn't able to get it. Frost now getting two points with a 10-7 lead over Sammy Shires. Looks like he's trying to get another trap arm going, maybe even a, or maybe just a gut wrench. He's got the trap arm locked and gets another two. Looking for that fall right there. Doesn't look like he's gonna be able to get it, but it's gonna be a 12-7 lead for Jacob Frost. A minute and 10 seconds to go in this match. A little fake attempt there from Shires as he tries to get in on that leg again. From the tie. From the tie. Frost doing a good job of maintaining composure. Not getting too rattled with those fakes. We got a 40 seconds left here in the match. Shires is gonna have to look for some scores if he wants to be able to come out and win this one. Underhook here for Shires. Tries to go shuck by attempt. Frost now with the underhook, bails out of it. Shires with another fake, and Frost with a nice sweep, and he's gonna get two points for it, making it 14 to seven now with 10 seconds left. As he suck, as these seconds click down, it looks like that's gonna be the final. Jacob Frost, your winner with a 14 to seven decision over Sammy Shires of Minion Legends.